can't hide behind your process at this point. Well, we have answers to the question for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's go to uh, Hector and Teresa. Hi, good morning. My name is Hector Azumi. I am the community organizer for Global Environmental Justice Organ. Today is the day that we can make a difference for many people in this region. Today is the day that we can stand and deliver hope that has lost it. Or today, you can take it away from you. That's why I ask you to remember your journey, your struggles, and those moments in which you wanted to find someone or something that could flourish and lost hope inside of you. Chair Warner, you went on public record announcing that Tribe Board will take all the time necessary to make a just decision. We're counting and expecting your word to stay true. We have also heard the board praising Oval for professionalism, our manner in which we present information, the way we carry ourselves in these meetings, and most important, the interest of developing a relationship, mutual collaboration, and understanding between China and transit-dependent individuals. We hope you can keep your part of that. For many people that have talked to you on the bus and at bus stops for the past three months, they're surviving paycheck to paycheck, trying to make ends meet. While some are lucky to have a job, others are looking for There is a sense of anxiety because of the state in which they're in. And once they let them know of potential fare increases and service cuts, people look at me with eyes of apprehension, and they tell me that all TriMed knows how to do, raise fares and cut bus service. How do they expect people to get to work or do things? Now, I want you to stay at my house more than before. This brings me to the point that with any type of relationship, collaboration, and understanding, there has to be some give and take. And although your main task is to balance the budget, your decision can imbalance or balance the livelihood of transit-dependent individuals. Understand that if you're asking transit-dependent drivers to tighten up their belt, then you have to also tighten up your belt. Demonstrate to the people in this region that you are committed in this relationship. Show them that you care and that you understand their struggle. So today we demand that the Tribal Board read Oval's alternative budget into the record. That's, that's the board to make use of the ideas that have been developed by the transit dependent users, and most important, that you stay true to your work and take all the time necessary to make a just and equitable decision. Today, stand with us and read it. Give hope to the people that need it the most, to the low income, people of color, people with disabilities, the elderly, the youth, and to those that are at the edge of becoming, of becoming homeless. Stand with us today.